Abhishek, I am from Sudhar. Sudhar is basically working in the presence of Madhya Pradesh. Currently, we are working in 19 prisons across the state. Our model of working is case for intervention. Sudhar basically provides three types of services, legal being one of them, other two are family support services, and we also look after the rehabilitation of these ex prisoners. The issue I am going to talk about basically emerged out of our own experience in the year 2011. We were visiting Central Prison Bopa and it was just a regular visit. It was the month of December. It was pretty cold. And there were children of under trial female prisoners. They were shivering and they had no provision for tulips. When we approached the prison authorities, we had a, a very careless answer and the answer was, we are not funded. We are not funded to provide bullets to these babies. Nevertheless, we arranged out of our own emergency support mechanisms, we arranged for the bullets. And then we realized that this is one issue which is largely being ignored across the state of Madhya Pradesh. Prison authorities are simply not aware that the children are in dire need of clothes, of food and of everything else that makes them qualify of being a human being. Well, the legal position I believe is known to all. In the case of R.T. Upadhyay versus State of AP, delivering the judgment, Supreme Court passed various guidelines. The most important of them were a child shall not be treated as an undertrial or convict while in prison with his or her mother. Such child is entitled to food, shelter, medical care, clothing, education and recreational facilities as a matter of right. As a matter of right, the state or us, we are not doing any favour to the children. It's their right to be treated as such. Secondly, Supreme Court also directed that jail manual and other relevant rules and legislations shall be suitably amended within three months and this was in 2005. Thirdly, the state legal services authorities shall periodically inspect jails to monitor that the directions are complied with in letter and spirit. Now the actual condition as we have observed, we conducted a survey with another organization, Hifazal, Hifazal works for children. And this is what we have found. The sample of survey was 971 women and their 110 children across 13 districts of the state of Madhya Pradesh. As regards food, in most of the prisons, women prisoners with children were not being provided extra meals, which is supposed to happen in this. Quality of food has remained the same as provided to other prison inmates. No supplementary diet is provided to the lactating mothers, again in violation. In some cases, occasionally, extra food is provided only in the form of one glass of meal, milk per day. That's it. Nothing more than that. As regards medical facilities, no separate and specialized medical facilities are available to the children of prisoners to this day in any prison in the state of Madhya Pradesh. More importantly and what could possibly the most important point is, there are 306 sanctioned posts for doctors in the, for the prisons of Madhya Pradesh, out of which there is only one lady doctor who is appointed for the entire state of Madhya Pradesh. And she is a general physician, she is not a pediatrician. So the treatment of children is left to the air, basically, across the prisons of Madhya Pradesh. And there are no separate facilities for the newborn, for the infants, they are just left. As regards their educational facilities, 
We are all aware of the detailed instructions passed by the Honorable Supreme Court, but on ground. In the name of educational facilities, only playground is available in the prisons. As there are no proper facilities for proper schooling of the children, and as they are not even allowed to go outside of the prisons for study, it is also violative of the Right to Education Act. And to this day, in our uh, case, we have never observed anyone to go outside and to have access to proper education. Thirdly, all of the above has definitely affected the prospects of healthy growth of children, thereby also violating the right of the children to development. What do we recommend? There needs to be a strict compliance to RD Padhyay guidelines. We have been reiterating this fact uh, to different authorities uh, in the state of Madhya Pradesh uh, till the tomorrow. But there needs to be a strict compliance. Conversion of state safe guidelines into a holistic policy of the government and implementation thereof within a specific time frame. If we are getting oh, something like, okay, we will look into this and uh, the time is not right for it, time is right. We need to do it in a definite time frame. Then there has to be appointment of qualified gynecologists in the prisons on the priority basis. There should be a provision for more open air prisons. There is only one open air prison in the state of Madhya Pradesh and none dedicated to them. And there should be general supervision concerning overall progress of the women in prisons and their children. It should be made a responsibility of a state body like social welfare department. For children, creation of integrated child development scheme, centers inside the prisons. It is imperative that we do that. There should be immediate allocation of special budget for proper food, clothing, education and recreation of children of under trial prisoners residing in prisons because that's what they keep on telling us that there is no budget, that there is no funding. So we have to provide instead. Then there should be setting up of proper educational facilities for children so that their wholesome growth is ensured. State should also assume responsibility of the children who have attained six years of age and have no relative outside the prison. Because state generally lets go of the children. And what if their parents are inside the prison and there is no one to take care of them outside of the prison? So, as a matter of fact, it should be the responsibility of the state that they should provide for, they should look after the children. And I would like to end this uh, by saying a quote from a French gentleman whose name I don't seem to remember. He said, everything is already said, but as no one listens, we must begin again. Thank you so much.